Hello, wonderful people, the great people of Piafra Freedom Fighters. I am back again today. I am bringing you all the message from the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Mazen Namdi Okuchukukano. Another of his prophecy that I have come to pass. And I would like every one of you to listen very attentively. You will understand this prophecy. And this prophecy is eight years ago. You know, we always face reality. We don't believe in superstitions. We don't believe all this nonsensical that they brought to us and they want us to, you know, forget about ours and now begin to embrace their own. We are not that kind of species. That is the reason why we want to go back to our roots. But I want every one of you to pay attention to this prophecy because this prophecy has come and now it's already passed. And this prophecy is about Bola Ahmed Itinubu. This prophecy is about who is going to become your president 2023. And I'm not going to say much. I would like you people to listen to this prophecy of Mazen Namde Okuchukano. Then you will begin to understand. And you are going to agree with me that Chukwo Kikabiyama is the one that sent Mazen Namde to us to come and rebrate us from all the shackles of demonic and Luciferia that we are into. May Chukwo Kikabiyama bless Mazen Namde Let us listen to this. And then I will come back again. Pay attention, please. Talk to you, you don't listen. We give you facts, you don't listen. Then we go to Wabeke. And what you know, you love them, those that brought you the ROC Wabeke. <laughs> we go to white man and tell you what a white man is saying, then you will believe it because you're a black person. Anything a white man tells you, you believe. And then um, who knows you may believe it tonight? Because this place has been written by a white man. His name is Michael Vice. Vice spells W E I S S, please. Michael Vice. That's how you pronounce it because in German, in, in Germanic language, W is pronounced as V, like the Volkswagen. Before you think it's um, uh, Volkswagen, no, it's Volkswagen. That's what it's called because W is pronounced as V. You're right, sir. Prophecy. Pay attention. Pay attention, please. We are talking about the Zoological Republic. All right. Their next leader, because the deal I was made with Yoruba is that after Buhari Tinubu, we go in as the president of this. That was the deal they got. That was why they put in uh, 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 Susi Banjo as the vice president. Some of you don't know this, but of course we know. That was the deal they got that brought um, 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 uh, AG. Uh, is it is I don't know what their name is. AD or AC and the Yoruba Party and the Awasa Party of Congress for CCP or whatever it's called together to form ABC. That was the deal. Uh, Obasanjo will, will rule after Obasanjo, Yaradua after Yaradua, and then he comes back to get another Yoruba man. But unfortunately for them, there was Jonathan somewhere in the back door listening. Then uh, death came. Yaradua died. A gentleman, I must say, although he ordered troops to go into the Afro land to land two people in each land. And then um, here we are today. The power has gone back to Awasa Fulani Islamic Boko Haram. And um, of course, he's coming back to Tinubu next. Some of you don't know, do you? But we are, we are telling you in advance. We are telling you eight years in advance so that you prepare for it. Tinubu. But there is so much pressure coming right now, even from white commentators. That he cannot survive it. The pressure is now mounting on the kleptomaniac, the chief looter of them all, the granddaddy of treasury looters in the zoo, Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, Yoruba man, Yoruba. Then the nation's guy says, What do you use? You do not nonsense. You know, if you put um, an Ibo man there, he will steal 100 million. You know, you put billion in, in hard currency. But that was. Now, 
as we just finished listening to this prophecy. Have this prophecy come to pass? Have it come to pass? That is the question you are going to ask yourself. When Mazin Namdekano was making this prophecy, some of you think that he, he don't know what he's saying. Mazin Namdekano is the mouthpiece of his own people. And Chukwo Kikabiyama is the one that sends him. That is why you see whenever Mazin Namdekano is behind the microphone, everything that is coming out from his mouth is a gospel. It's a gospel. Like I always tell my people, they brought Obi. Obi is my brother. And I will never, ever deny it. But it's very, very imperative that we always understand the root of our problem so that we can be able to solve it. They brought Obi to deceive our people. They brought Obi to divide our people on this Biafran restoration project. This is what we have saw for, for, for years. And we tell, we told Obi that don't deceive our people. We have only had way and only way to free people from slavery that they are into in that contraption and Africa in general is to bacchanize that contraption to cease Nigeria to exist, to disintegrate that contraption. That is when peace will come and development will begin. Competition will start. But we told Obi, Obi Anoyeba and Efisi Pakabaka. Today, Obi is going to court. The same court that Atiku went and he's still in that court, postponing the court every single day till dead Bugari finished the tenor. That a man that is in Asorok, that is impersonating, wearing mask every single day as a dead Bugari. The same court Obi is going today. And I'm telling you people that Obi will keep on going to this court till the first tenor. They will keep on postponing it till the second tenor, and there is nothing you can do about it. Now you understand. We don't lie. The prophecy has come to pass. Mazen Namdekanu is Washinek. And there's no doubt about it. We want you all that have already, you know, they have already mislead on this presidential election that have came and gone. We want you people to return back. We are going to open our hand and receive you all so that we can start from where we start. Only way is Biafran Restoration Project. Only way to get it right is to restore Biafran. Only way humanity can stand is for us to get the kingdom of Chukwokikabiyama on this earth. Because Chukwokikabiyama is our God. And the Biafra is our religion. I want you to see the prophecy. And you have heard it. And there is no how you can ever disagree or dispute on this. Because we always come with authentic information. The authentic intel. This is a prophecy. By now, if Mazin Lamde cannot have his own congregation or have church in that contraption, today his church will be booming. This is not the first prophecy of Mazen Namdekano. But none of them have prophesied and come to pass. Only him. Only prophet in that contraption. Only prophet in Africa that have said everything accurate. And whenever he's saying it, he will give you time. That is why Mazen Namdekano will tell you, when you are coming, come with your pen and paper. This prophecy is for eight years ago. And today we are here seeing it with Koro Koro eyes. Like I said, obedient and those of you that are calling obedient or you call yourself obedient, we want you to come back. We're going to receive you people. Let us forge ahead. 
We need everybody in this Biafran restoration project. We need everybody. Collective, we can be able to get to our destination, which is Biafra. Nothing else. We are humanity will take place. We are the law of the land we supersede every other thing. We are everyone will be equal. Regardless who you are, your wealth, we are going to be equal. That is why we are asking that Biafra will come. And we are at the same time asking our people to join this moving train to restore our dignity, to restore our motherland, to restore the kingdom of Chukwokikabiyama and go back to our roots. That is most important, most imperative among all that we must go back to our roots. This is what I bring for you people today. Good day and welcome.